Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode 4 of the free to play Iron Man, no shops, no quests. Let's get into it. So I've collected 10 giant keys and I've stopped because I came to realize that it's actually easier to kill Bryophyta than it is to kill Obor. Obor has a whole bunch of defensive bonuses and Bryophyta has none for some reason. I had no idea. I've stopped killing hill giants because they're kind of annoying to kill and I think I'll probably just stick to Bryophyta and Moss Giants because they have better drops anyway. Bryo drops a Rune Sword, which is a better DPS weapon than the Rune Long Sword. So I'll start using that weapon until I can, of course, make a Rune Scimitar way later down the line. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. But another thing I forgot to mention was I do, in fact, have a Black Chain Body. I think I got it in Episode 2 from a Clue Scroll. And this is actually better than the Steel one I was using in the last episode. So yeah, this is what I've gotten from Hill Giant so far, 622 kill count. I think the first 275 I did at Alcarid, I didn't get a single key. The remaining Hill Giant kills from there, I got the 10 keys, which is kind of an insane drop rate. It's much lower than the actual drop rate, so I got pretty lucky with those. I think I'll stop here with those for now and just collect the Moss Giant keys for a while, um, so I'm going to get to that. First Mossy key, let's go. Alright, I've got another 5 caskets. Let's see if we can get anything. Nope. So just a reminder, there's a couple items that I'm still looking for. One is the Staff of Water, which is one I don't have yet, and also the Black Pickaxe. Those are the two most useful items for me. I'm sure there's a few other things that will be helpful. Runes and other random items could be of use, but yeah, those are the two primary ones I'm looking for. And there's a little 50 fishing. Taking a break from Moss Giants. Can now catch swordfish, but I absolutely cannot. Oh yeah. Okay, I've collected 500 kebabs, and this will be useful for not having to use so many anchovy pizzas when I'm in the wilderness. I've dipped below 1,000 and I'm very upset about it. Ooh, a cut diamond. That's awesome. I can make a power amulet with that. By the way, I forgot to mention I hit 2 million total XP. Alright, so good news, bad news. The bad news is I got PK'd and I lost my strength amulet. Thankfully I do have some extra rubies, so that's not a huge deal. But good news, I wanna say, is that when you die, I thought you would lose keys, That's because that's what it says in the menu. It goes to your gravestone, which is good. So what this means is I don't even have to really bring anything, because then I can just three item and I won't lose anything. I'm gonna go get a couple items I think will be useful in this situation, so be right back couple of these guys and I'm gonna grab a few of these monks robes and hop through worlds these will be good per bonus and I don't have to really risk too much and making the strength amulet let me just string this I forgot I need a magic level and here we go all right I'm gonna mine an inventory of coal all right so I had a few mithril ore left in the bank, so I figured I'd just make a couple scimitars real quick. This is kind of annoying. I was expecting I could three item with the rune helm and then these items, but it, apparently the monk's rib top is, is kept over the scimitar, which makes no sense. Which you could like drag the item like up there or something, so you could keep an item over another. If I do protect from item, it would keep it. I suppose I could always just drop the monk's rib top if I'm in combat or something, because it's not really worth anything to me. Really frustrating, I just got attacked by another PKer but got away, because the guy obviously didn't know what he was doing. He was just casting Fire Blast on me over and over again. I was able to hop worlds, but it's really frustrating, because I know these guys, like, they have no intention of trying to make GP. Their entire purpose is just to rag people, essentially. They just want to disrupt gameplay of whoever's in the wilderness. So it's really unfortunate, um, something I'll have to deal with. This is, I've only was there for like five minutes. So I'm at 222 kill count right now. I'm probably about a tenth of the way. I've got five keys total, so that's about where I am right now. But I wanted to show a couple things. First of all, they do have chaos runes that respawn here, so I've been picking those up. Um, hopefully I can stack up a few in this grind. Another thing is I've decided to bring my main account here, and I'm also killing hill giants, kind of more so just AFKing them, because I also need Bryophyta's Essence for my collection log. So I can also protect myself if some PK decides to come back and attack me. So far it's been alright, but um, and the last thing I wanted to show was this prayer flicking method I'm doing. Um, so since Moss Giants attack every 6 game ticks, and I attack every 4 game ticks, if I prayer flick melee and my bonuses every 2 ticks, then I can just keep flicking every 2 ticks, and 
I'll get the 15% bonus and the melee bonus or protection bonus as well. So that's really useful. And just hit 60 combat. Okay, so I died again. Seems that Jagex has made it so PJing is impossible. As long as somebody is in combat, that person takes priority over anything. So NPCs can't attack you, you can't attack them, nothing will stop a PKer from being attacked while they're in combat. The main thing didn't work. Um, I guess my best course of action is just try to escape then. I was pretty frustrated w when I was not able to attack this PKer because I easily could have destroyed him. He was a one death pure. It would have been easily game over for him, my max combat main. Oh, another thing. It also deleted my key, which I have no idea why because last time it gave me a gravestone and I was able to collect my key back from it. So please let me know in the comments if you have any idea why because I got there pretty quickly right after I died so I don't see why it would have been deleted. Okay, so I've downloaded a RuneLite plugin called Wilderness Player Alarm, and what this does is it makes your screen flash red or whatever color you choose, gives you a desktop notification and a alarm to top it all off when a player is in the area of you. So that just saved my life. I'm going to take a break from Moss Giants for now, or and try a couple things. I guess I'm not really taking a break from Lost Giants. I'm going to go test out how they are in Varrock Sewers, maybe do some range with them, and maybe get like 50 range from that. I'm not really sure what I plan on doing right now. I'm just going to take a break from Wilderness Moss Giants because they're kind of getting on my nerves. I'm at 433 kill count right now. Yeah, so definitely expect me to just be kind of doing random methods on this account. I'm not really interested in being completely 100% efficient at all times. You'll see me trying out different things quite often. Um, yeah, I tried out Moss Giants in uh, Varrock Sewers, and it's gone pretty well so far. I'm able to do things on my main, which is nice. Yeah, I got a clue scroll, so I'm just going to do this real quick. Five more caskets, and nothing. And there's 65 wood cutting. Guess I also didn't realize it. 750 total. However, I still cannot use the 750 worlds because you need 758 for that. And there's level 50 ranged. I'm gonna stay here until I finish up my arrows, I think, and then I'll return to the wilderness moss giants. And another five caskets. Ooh, gesture cape. And nothing else. Didn't mean to record 52 ranged, but there's that. Um, I just wanted to say that. I am still here killing Moss Giants and Varrock Sewers because I am also working on playing my main account. I kind of felt like finishing up 100 million woodcutting XP, which I'm about 720k XP off. So I should get that within the next couple days, but I'm just doing this here because it's definitely more viable to do this than prayer flicking Moss Giants in the wilderness in such a high risk situation. So that's why I'm still here. Another little update just surpassed 200 hours played eight days 11 hours i think it's eight days eight hours is 200. here's the stats almost 758 total very close three more levels um, i'm very close to a prayer level very close to hit points level and kind of close to a range level so i'll be hitting that pretty soon here's the bank got a couple caskets saving up for the five and here's everything else Yep, not a ton has changed, but yeah, I did organize a little bit more than the last time, I think. Um, here's all my collection log related things and other um, rarer items, I, I suppose. This is actually just from Moss Giants, but I have the black items in there too. I guess I should put the chain body in there too, but I kind of use that, so never mind. I keep forgetting to mention I have been kind of collecting these unique cabbages on and off. If you didn't know already, you can get these from the Drainer Manor. When you eat them, they provide a defense bonus boost, and they're also untradeable. So every time I get a clue scroll that's uh, to dig up the mushrooms in Drainer Manor, I also collect the seven that are that are there. So, and the beekeeper top, and there it is, 758 total. I can now access 750 worlds. There's a little 55 ranged. Guys, this is the second ever pinball random I've gotten, and I just got sapphires. This is great. And we have caskets. And we got nothing. Five more caskets. Ooh, a water staff, finally. Oh my gosh. I didn't have one of those. I believe that's all the free-to-play staves collected, with the exception of the Bryophyta staff, obviously. Another five caskets. Nothing. I am back to Minotaurs, and I'm just about to hit level 60 strength. 
in one more hit and look at that. So the reason I'm back here is so that I can get some more arrows. I've decided I'm going to start safe spotting the ones in the wilderness. There is one that's able to be safe spotted and you guys are probably yelling at me in the comments saying, you know, this is not efficient. You shouldn't be doing it this way. And I know, um, but I'd also like to play my main and this is a way I can do both. Um, combined with this plugin that alerts me when PKers are around, I've been able to escape a lot of them already, and I have not, I've yet to get attacked again. So um, it's worked out pretty well so far. But I'm back here right now, getting some clue scrolls, some rune essence, and iron arrows. I think I'll stop around 10,000 iron arrows. Um, that should be enough to get me to the amount of mossy keys I need. I had some people let me know that I also was not killing hill giants more, most efficiently. I, obviously, you should stay at the the ones in Alcarid because the bones there are really useful to gain prayer XP. But that's not my my point here. I'm what I'm attempting to do is get a rune sword as quick as possible. So I'm trying to kill the ones in the wilderness so that I can get keys faster. I want this best in slot weapon so that I can kill these guys faster, which then I can get more arrows faster, more essence faster. Also I have decided to not pick up bones here because it's really not worth the amount of prayer xp i'm gaining the total amount of minotaurs is like the equivalent to like doing an hour of boneyard prayer that i've killed so far i'm at 3250 kills the thing i wanted to say was i've turned off a lot of stuff as you can see in custom hides so that i don't accidentally pick up all this garbage like these bronze full helms that drop one in five or something ridiculous basically only have arrows copper tin skull cooked meat uh, mind rune and beginner clue turned on. I have five more caskets. Nothing. Quite fitting that I get my hundredth casket at the place I got my first casket. So here we go. Hundred caskets. Nothing too useful, but some law runes is always good. I've got ten caskets now. Let's see if I get anything. I think I'll just do ten caskets from now on. Five is getting a little bit too often when I'm doing minotaurs, so. Oh! Black sword, nice. And nothing too exciting other than that black sword. I think it's like a 1 in 800, so it's pretty solid. 10 caskets. Another defense amulet. <laughs> and more caskets. Another mole slippers, okay. And nothing else. I'm getting a lot of dupes, it seems like. I forgot to mention it earlier, but I wanted that sapphire from that random because now I can make a magic amulet. Nice. Well, I just missed it, but just hit 50 magic. Um, I am here at Anku's in order to get some law runes so that I can do more clue scrolls once I kill Obor and Bryo, which I'll be doing tomorrow live. So hopefully I get the things I'm looking for. But I'm going to be here until I use up all my chaos and other runes. So I've been using Crumble Undead. Um, I am aware I can use the Skull Scepter and Autocast, but I need to save runes as much as possible. Addy Plate. <laughs> I saw the this thing and I was like, oh my god, did I get Bryo Essence or something? Well, I got Combat Tasks, so well. I forgot to record, but first kill. I'm recording now. Oh, I just got like all the tasks, I think. <laughs> I don't know what those entailed, but sweet. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Please, please, please hit. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. Kill number two. Maybe I'll have to start like flicking a uh, like eagle eye or whatever. Oh, my heart is like pounding. <laughs> I had to risk it. Oh yeah, kill number three. Rune chain. That's good. All right, kill number four. Let's go. I don't know why I'm eating a pizza. Mossy key, nice. And a cosmic rune. Kill number four, five. Plate body. It was number five. Oh, I got a. What is this one? Bryophyta, I didn't, I missed it. All right, kill number six. Rune play legs, nice. Kill them with the minions alive. What do we got? More Addy plates. 
<laughs> Why am I getting these so often? All right, kill number eight. 100 death runes. Probably won't use those. Black pickaxe, I'm just kidding. That was depressing. A lot of stabs, holy cow, look at that. <laughs> kill number nine? Rune plate legs again. All right, drop number 10. Uncut diamond, uncut ruby. Oh my god, he's dead. We did not get a rune sword. 100 nature runes, though. Here we go. Last casket. I opened kind of an uneven amount of caskets on stream, so here's me getting it back to an even number. Nothing too interesting. But there is 140 beginner clue scrolls completed. Sorry to let you all down and not get a rune sword, but here I am. Um, I will be streaming more Bryo next week. I'll do another 10 keys and we'll pick it up from there. Hopefully I get a sword this time. I think it's like a 1 in 23, so it should be doable. As for the Obor keys, I think I'll just use those after I've gotten the sword. Hopefully I can kill Obor just as easily. Figured I'd give one last check on the hours played and stats. We have 248 hours played, getting close to 50. 781 total. These are what the stats are looking like as the end of episode 4. And the bank. Give a little quick little scroll through and then I'll let you know what my EHP is. As of today on Temple, I am 56 for to play Iron Man EHP, which is not completely accurate to how I'm playing, but Nonetheless, a relatively accurate figure. So yeah, thank you all for the support in the comments. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.